I'm approaching my opponent, hands come on him. Here, okay? Remember, I'm turning this thumb here. Why? I'm taking my chin and kind of laying it right, 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 you know, at the top of his head here, just to let the official know, hey, I'm staying legal, hand, the, the, my chin's in the middle of the body, okay, middle of the back. Again, hands on, up high, here, okay? Now, when the whistle blows, here's what my, my focus is going to be. My focus is to come inside with my palm, okay, I'm, and I'm going to just take my palm and I'm going to lay it inside here. This is kind of my elevator. I'm going to elevate this leg when I really start to run my spiral. And my head and chest off the whistle, I'm, I'm planting the back foot and I'm going to drive my head and chest over the top here. Okay, so this is the difference between the, again, a uh, successful spinal ride compared to a claw is this. We're putting weight on this guy's hands, a lot of weight. So again, here, I'm here. Okay, now inside leg, inside knee, outside leg, actually it's outside leg, is coming inside and all I'm doing is I'm placing it right here on the on his thigh, okay? And, I, and, I'm, and I'm inside here, inside the thigh, and I'm inside right here with my, with my uh, same side that I'm controlling the elbow, okay? And all I'm gonna do is take this thumb and I'm running it right in his armpit, okay? I don't want this arm deep, okay? I want it, I want it shallow, and the reason I want it shallow is so I can get more weight, okay? over the top. What this, uh, what this arm actually is doing for me is just keeping me from falling over the top here. So I'm just hooking into this armpit right here, okay? And I, I'm getting weight on this hand. So what I'm trying to do in folk style is I'm trying to beat him on the punch, okay? It, it, when that whistle blows, I'm trying to punch him right into the mat. So take, take every move, first move he has and take it away from him with, with with, a, with a, just a good hard punch of running my head and chest, chest high, flanking the opposite leg, okay, and uh, hooking here and controlling uh, controlling my body from going too high. So whistle blows, it's here, okay, inside leg, okay. So we're getting that weight on his hands off the whistle, okay, from here. Where's my focus? I can do a lot of things. I can run this in a half circle, okay? And when I run it in a half circle, I'm gonna take this where I'm, where I'm prying this thigh, okay? And I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna tip to the mat, okay? Back up. So, the higher I am, the more successful this is. Okay, up <laughs> here, run it, okay? Now, everything leads us into Controlling the bar arm, okay? And so I'm always looking for this bar arm. So if it's up high here and I break him down to his elbow, I'm coming inside, okay, to control that bar arm. Back up. So we call this a spiral ride with a half turn. So I'm just half turning. I'm running out here and I'm and I'm controlling, I'm controlling his head by putting pressure on it. Okay. I'm elevating the opposite side. Okay, at the same time, I'm separating this leg and this arm, okay, and it's forcing him to the mat. So again, whistle blows, boom, okay, here, I'm running right here as I'm elevating. So I'm back up. So with this hand, I'm going palm, rotating it, and I'm raising this leg up while I'm taking this arm out. Take his arm out right here. That's what we're doing. We're separating him. We're making him wobble. Okay? If he's balled up here, ball up. Ball up. Put your, there you go. Okay, I'm here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to separate. See how I do it? Okay, I'm going to take him out of that position. So, it's real important that with the spiral ride, you're running a half turn spiral ride, that we separate this guy immediately. We put pressure on him. Make sure that we, we're extending him out. Making sure that we're keeping that pressure forward and the half turn, okay? Once again, I'm here. Remember, turning my thumb out. I'm just coming under off the whistle. I'm flanking this inside here. Turning my palm down, okay? Down, flanking this leg out as I'm moving his body forward. So when I hit him, this happens, okay?
Okay? I'm moving. Okay? Whistle blows on the whistle. Okay? Remember chest. Remember, when I get on him, I, I often, sometimes you can't get where you want to get if you start with on your knees and you come here. You can't get where you want. That's why I remember when we're approaching him, I want to put my hands on him. I want to touch him with my chest first to get hot and then drop back. Now I got a lot of weight on him right here. Okay? Whistle blows. Bump. I'm bumping him forward. Floating out. Separate, separate, wrist. We'll get into our turns here in a second. Okay, back down. So that's your that's your your typical spiral ride to a half half turn, half half motion, half moon. You're running in that half moon uh, in that circle, separating it. Now we're going to come back and we're going to tack on the same side where he gets sprawled out. Okay, whistle blows, he gets wide, he feels strong. Okay, whistle blows, ready, ready, he feels strong right here. And I'm not really moving him. Okay, this is where I'm coming back. Okay, I stay high here, making sure that my, that at all times I can take my chin, okay, and I can hook this shoulder. Okay, any anytime I'm sliding back here, this is not the spiral right. Okay. I want, I don't need this arm deep. Okay, I want it short. And if it's short, my body needs to be long. Okay. And so when I feel that power where these guys are kind of breaking down on you and you start to run the spiral, you know, and you don't get anywhere, I come back immediately right here. Now I hook myself in right here with this hand. I hook it and then I, I bolt myself together. To, to Zoe here. I just, I, I lay my chest on him and I feel like I have to glue myself to him right here. So I glue myself to him, okay, right here. And now I start to cave back on this arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue him here and I'm going to pull him here. Oh, that's all I need right here. I just need that elbow to hit the mat and I take the wrist, okay? So what I'm doing on my body here is I'm using this hand here to keep me bolted in. Now, all I'm doing is taking this knee and I'm going side to side right here. Make a half turn. Okay, I'm going side to side right here and placing it just inside here. Okay, and so when you see him here, you see how I collapsing? Now I did that with my chest. Okay, but, but my chest didn't slide. I'm not sliding, stay, stay strong there. I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm holding on with, with this thigh pry, my hand, thigh pry, and this hook. I'm, I'm gluing myself, bolting myself to him right here. Okay, taking the wrist. Okay, this is probably, uh, probably as successful as, as any of the breakdowns. Running the half, the half turn, a lot of times we'll run the half turn, half pipe on the spinal ride, and he'll he'll crawl forward or stay on his hands, and bam, we come back, okay, with the with the setback on the same side. So I'm here, whistle blows, keep your keep your uh, base when I run the hot half pipe, whistle blows, and I'm running the hot pipe, I come back right here, 